So one of the things I love about being an electric guitar player is being able to have more than one overdrive, to be honest. I like to have as many of them as possible within reason. So I've got three of them on my board. I also have a boost and I've got a pog, which is one of my secret weapons, to be honest with you. I got it not knowing just how amazing it could be. Um, but before we get into all that, I want to go over the stages of overdrive with you. I've got a stage one, a stage two, and a stage three, and different variants of them as well. But uh, the way I usually approach that is I start with just the amp. I've got my compressor on as well. And honestly, that's a topic for another video, so I'm not going to go too deep into how I've got that set up. But let's just hear what my stuff sounds like with just the amp and the guitar. I like to get to where it's breaking up uh, a little bit. The amp that I have right now has a lot of headroom, so I don't want to have a ton of volume. You guys all know that struggle. So I'm using my first stage to add a little bit of drive in to get to, to the sweet spot that I'm looking for. So here is just the guitar, the compressor, and the amp. Now, of course, I can dig in and get a little bit more drive if I wanted to. So that's what that sounds like. And here's my first stage overdrive. You won't notice too much difference in EQ, but you will notice a little bit more saturation that makes it a little bit more smooth. So here's my Greer light speed. That is my first stage overdrive. One of the things that I really love to do with my first stage overdrive is to make it really versatile to where I can get really driven tones, but some really soft tones as well. And I'll give you an example here. So this is with the, the Greer light speed, it's still on. You just heard it breaking up, but this is what it's also good at doing. But when you want to dig in, go to your bridge pickup. Of course, with the help of the big sky right there. So I make it to where I can do a lot with it so that I don't want to rely so much on my pedals to get my driven sound. I want to make sure that I have enough dynamic in my own playing and my own touch and my own guitar to be able to do a lot with just my first stage. So my second stage is one of my favorite pedals ever. It's the Benson preamp. In fact, this is the second one I've ever had because the first one I sold and immediately regretted. So I got another one. And this pedal, you'll see I've got the volume dimed pretty hard and then a little bit of drive. Now here's why I do that. I like to maintain the same EQ uh, as I'm going from pedal to pedal. I don't want the EQ to change too much. And when you add the drive in to the Benson preamp, the characteristic and the EQ can change a little bit, which sometimes can be a great thing in certain situations. But the way I like to do it is to keep it down so that my EQ stays as consistent as possible. So here's just a Greer light speed, and then I'm gonna kick the Benson preamp. And just for reference, this right here you'll know is the Greer light speed. When that comes on, that is the Benson preamp. And then this right here will be the kilt, which we'll use later on. And then I'm also gonna use my boost pedal right here with the bloom. So here's just the Benson preamp again. Stage two. So you hear it really starts to bite, really gives me a good overdriven sound. Here's with some effects on so you can get a little bit more of a full picture of how I use it. So that's super nice. I really like how it just gives me more um, 
it helps saturate and it still stays smooth and it still gives me the same EQ that I'm going for. Now from here, I can go honestly three different directions. I can go to the kilt, I can use the boost on my bloom pedal, or I can use the pog, which is what I did on the audio at the very beginning of this recording. And what I ended up doing was I went from what I just did and I switched over to the pog. So you see the pod can make your stuff sound really big and I was just hitting one note right there. So it acts as a boost uh, in its own self. And honestly, I don't think the pod is at unity gain. I think it gives me a little bit more volume. So I can use it to really stick out even on parts like Reckless Love when you're playing that. <laughs> too much of that low octave but you get the point and also my delay wasn't on time but again you get the point it really can add a lot if you use an octave pedal the right way now apart from that one of the things i really like to do is use the boost from the bloom pedal because it's just a straight boost there's no eq added it's just turning my volume up and that volume is going into my two pedals that are already on which is light speed and the benza preamp so it's causing those not only to clip harder, it's causing them to compress and be even more saturated and be even more smooth, which is really cool. So if the worship leader, if we're ever playing a song and he looks at me and says, okay, play this part big or do some kind of solo or something like that, the boost is a great place for that because it's not just gonna be overloaded with overdrive, but it will give me the jump that I need to get out in front of the band, for example. <laughs> So it's really good for soaring parts. I think it just does such a great job giving me more. It does begin to bite a little bit more. So I like to maybe possibly turn my EQ on to kind of carve the highs out just a little bit. So the sound guy isn't going, oh God, turn them down. And all guitar players, you know exactly what that's like when the sound guy just turns you down and the wrong part. <laughs> Thank goodness I have a pretty decent sound guy. But anyways, and the last one that I have, it is the Kilt. And that thing is a monster. I like to use it a lot for the song Rattle. So let's give you an example of that. <laughs> You get the point. So that thing is sometimes too much, to be honest, but I love it. It's such a great overdrive pedal. If you really honestly want some really heavy rhythm, it's perfect for that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining me on another video. Let me know in the, the comments how you like to do your overdrive pedals. And also tell me if there's something I could be doing different that might be even better. I'm open to hear it. Thank you guys for joining me on another video and I'll see you on the next one.